Do you have questions about shadow work and what that means, how to do it? Stick around, we're gonna talk about that today. Hi, I'm Veronica and welcome back to The Wholeness Shift. I teach people about easy, practical spirituality and I help you navigate your spiritual awakening. I talk about the law of attraction, intentional living, and all kinds of fun stuff. So if this interests you, stick around, hit the subscribe button. I wouldn't want you to miss out on anything good. I am actually on vacation right now, or staycation, and yesterday, we, myself and my daughter Courtney and my son-in-law Anthony, we started power washing my fence so that we can stain and seal it and we got to about right there. <laughs> so today, and he got some, a lot of the deck done too, but today Courtney and I are going to do the rest of it. And then hopefully we are going to be staining it this weekend or next weekend, as long as it's not raining. Cause it's supposed to rain most of the week. So anyways, I thought I would just hang out with you this morning and have a little chat about shadow work. I had posted something on Instagram last week about doing shadow work and I got a comment where somebody said, I still don't know how to do that. How do you do it? So I answered them and then I thought, you know what? I should share this with everybody because I know for a long time, I didn't know what that meant. I heard the term all the time. I heard people say that, but I didn't know what that meant. And so, um, I do have one video on shadow work, uh, an exercise for your root chakra. So I'll link to that below. But anyways, shadow work, the concept is simple. The work is not. <laughs> so the concept is, okay, well, let's start at the beginning. Shadow, what is a shadow? Your shadow is any area of baggage really that's what it boils down to any area where you have issues you have leftover trauma you have leftover issues from childhood um, all of that stuff that all as an adult you bring that with you and that is the baggage that's your shadow stuff that you need to work on and process and heal in order to have healthy thriving relationships and healthy boundaries and self-esteem and all of that stuff right so the shadow work is like therapy. It's um, the stuff that you do to help heal all of those historical wounds from your life. And the best way to do that that I have found, I mean, there are a lot of different exercises you can do, but what I find most helpful is to just uh, search Google, look on Pinterest, wherever, Instagram, look up shadow work journal prompts and then you can either spend time journaling those and writing out the answers which I find good because it physically gets that energy out of your body or you can just meditate on it and think on it so these could be anything they could be absolutely anything I mean there are limitless possibilities for what these questions might be these prompts but I mean it could be anything like when was the first time I felt like my voice was not heard? Or when was the first time I was made to feel unsafe as a female in the presence of a man? Or when was the first time I can remember feeling like my worth was tied to my achievements. Do you see what I'm saying? Like it can be anything. If my ex was right in front of me, what emotions would I feel? And why would I feel those emotions? You might ask yourself, how does envy show up in my life? Or would I consider myself a jealous person? Where do those feelings stem from? When's the first time I can remember feeling jealous? Have I been through betrayal? You could ask yourself, 
In what ways do I need to love myself more? In what ways am I too hard on myself? So as you see that there are just countless possibilities for what these questions can look like, but basically it's any question that gets you tapped into the emotion and gets you thinking about the roots so that you get down and you find the root of these things and you can journal it uh, or think about it, process it, get rid of it. That's the goal, to process it and get rid of it. Okay, you guys, I hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions. Until next time.